Hello viewers, today we are going to learn how to manipulate in Photoshop or how to make a fantasy or dynamic scene in Photoshop. So let's begin our tutorial. You can make dynamic or fantasy scene in any version of Photoshop. Just follow this tutorial. So let's begin our tutorial. Just we are going to first we are going to our model image. This is our model image and now we are going to select this one. So I'm going with pen tool. This one is my favorite. Now I start my selection. Just simply select this area, zoom your image by pressing Ctrl and plus. And then just select this layers. Control. Then zoom out the image by pressing Ctrl minus. When you complete your selection, just right click and go to make selection. Make feather radiation 0 and pixel OK. This one is selected. So now we are going or arrange a background. So first of all, we take a new document or new page. Then we just click on file and then take new. Just resize your image. This one is default size. I already saved this size. So you can do the same size as your practice. And remember that the resolution must be 300. So this one is 300. Then press OK. Now we are going to place our model first oh, sorry just drag and drop adjust the image or resize the image by holding shift and alt key and then just resize this one This, the placement is done now we are going to add some dynamic or fantasy effect so we are just using this C image take this one C image by using quick selection tool and select only this C image all these images are downloaded by DeviantArt and you can download this image through my description I already provide all links in my description so just download this image and just stretch this one is stretched so not no. now this one is done so your placement is done and now just decrease the opacity and apply mask layer in this area so take mask layer and go to brush tool this one is brush tool always take shop brush and just apply mask in that area this one is the easy process there is so many process but this one is so easy to give a water effect or dynamic water effect that one is perfect and now just do this time and now hide this one so we are going to make foreground color white and just hide this one a little bit just now remove the this line so zoom your brush and simply rub and remove Take a time to remove this now it's removed now again increase the opacity now take again brush tool and remove this species line we can see that in that area the white rays are shown so make foreground color white brush and zoom the image and simply 
resize the image by pressing bracket key and apply this make opacity 50% and now apply this do the same thing in that portion no. it's done water uh, water effect is visible now we are going to arrange the background behind model so take this mountain image this one i take you can also use another image and just resize the image by holding shift and alt key just resize the image and just pre press this one or put this one behind the model so now adjust it or you can do little bit smaller to provide amazing look or it's look a far away from your model just take one and now we are going to add a sky image so this is our sky image say do the same thing put behind the model this is sky image and Resize the image by holding shift and alt key. This one is done. And now go to mask layer. Brush. And resize the brush by using bracket key. And visible. Little bit here. Oh sorry. Now, again click on mask layer and remove this line, it shows so bad, so just remove this line. Now the fantasy scene comes out, now this one is C, this one model, now we are going to provide some more images to give amazing fantasy look. So what we have to do, we take some bird image. Now take this crow image Just drag and drop this one Again take this one and also take this one all of image i am going to take all these images just take this one just drag and drop and last of i also take this one now click on pro and just go to edit transform and horizontal resize the image and take this one click on this one and place in that area and just zoom this body image move this one a bit here and last this sitting bud just place in that area
now now we are going to provide some light so we are just take new layer and go to brush and this one is white it is perfect make opacity 100% and just apply in that portion make opacity 76% or 72% now go to take again blank, blank layer and go to edit click on flip fill and just take 50% gray ok now right click and create clipping mask and go to blending mode and select overlay and again take dodge and burn tool and apply on this model Also apply on her hand. And now we are going to take burn tool. This one is also an important tool. and little bit apply in this stone particles now we are going to remove this one the this area so take this tool and simply select this portion just delete it and click on select and deselect now add more image just so like this one click on move tool and just hold and drag and drop so now your work is almost done then take this one make make this one duplicate or make uh, this one duplicate and zoom this one now it has been done so now we are adding little bit feather so go to brush tool and select feather brush i think this one looks great or, or, or maybe you can take this one up this one this one this one is look and make foreground color black and apply this yeah. it was too dark so just take color and click on this one apply this one or may again adjust the size and apply this one take another feather just like this one and just oh sorry just resize the brush and apply that portion now the work is almost done and little bit apply in that area this one is so important adjust the brush now. now your work is almost done 
now we are going to add some color to make complete image in same or matching color do the match color so go to adjustment layer and click on color balance the whole thing is in blue so i'm going to increase the blue and make little bit cyan or you can decrease this one as a red so now let's look almost good now we are merge the complete layer in one layer so what we have to do just hold shift control alt then press e to merge the complete layer in one then duplicate this one and go to filter click on camera raw now play with the color so just increase the saturation this one is so important now i increase the saturation and go to sharpness and increase the sharpness go to split tone and make yellow lighter areas it's not red it's yellow and make blue in darker area now add little bit brush so again take a new layer go to brush and select the water splash this one is water splash and just resize this one and adjust the place or location and just apply this one in that portion and also apply in that area apply here or apply here click on mask layer and remove this one go to soft layer and remove this one now now your work is almost done again merge this complete layer with holding shift control alt and e and go to filter and just click on make collection so take this one increase the shadow area increase the color highlight it again little bit like this now it's done and go to filter and again camera raw increase the sharpness and go to effects and decrease or make a dark line in outside areas and now okay again take blank layer go to edit fill and filter some gray and make this one overlay go to adjustment layer click on filter photo filter and make warm color is 18% So your work is done. Hope I hope you like this tutorial. If you like this tutorial, please subscribe my channel. See you soon with a new tutorial. Thank you. Goodbye.